And the Los Angeles Times has new details about the moment a California woman was found alive more than three weeks after she vanished. Dispatch reportings, recordings rather, feature officers describing the condition of 34-year-old Sherry Papini. She turned up on a highway Thanksgiving morning. Papini has now been reunited with her family. She has told investigators her alleged captors let her go. John Blackstone shows us the next steps in this very unusual case. Investigators say Sherry Papini was in rough shape when she flagged down a passing driver along this highway about 150 miles from home. Uh, CHP is advising she is uh, heavily battered. Papini was treated and released from the hospital the same day and reunited with her husband. Right now, she has been through a very traumatic event and needs time with her family. Papini's sister thanked people who spent weeks searching. Her husband reported her missing November 2nd after she didn't show up to get their kids from daycare. Papini has not spoken publicly, but described her alleged captors to police. We are looking for a dark-colored SUV with two Hispanic females. They'll be looking for uh, physical evidence that she may have picked up if she had contact with her captors and there may be DNA involved. Jeffrey Butts is with John Jay College of Criminal Justice. It's unusual for an adult to be held, especially for a number of days or weeks, and then to be released or to be found um, apparently unharmed or not seriously harmed. Perhaps even more unusual, a six-figure reward offered by an anonymous donor using a negotiator. I was retained for one purpose and one purpose only, and that was to find a way for Sherry to come home. But investigators say the offer does not appear to be linked to her release. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco. Boy, I am glad she is back home. But what an unusual alive, story. It's raised all sorts of questions, but the bottom line is she's back with her family safe, and that's good. That is very good indeed.